Hey everyone, Sir Terrible here again. And today is going to be our third and last video with Green Bonnie. So over the last two days, we have been covering this deck. So make sure to check out those two videos as well after this one. If you want to get more gameplay of this leader. Today's games are going to be three games against Black Yellow Luffy. And then one game against Red Purple Luffy. It's been a while since I went against a Red Purple Luffy. So that one is actually really fun as well. Uh, in that matchup against Black Yellow Luffy... It is going to be all about the Zoro, being able to kind of clean them up. But, but, today's games taught me something about that matchup that I was not expecting. There's a new tech that the Black Yellow Luffy players are playing that took me some completely by surprise. So, I hope you're going to enjoy those games as we have it today. So, if you like today's video, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy the game. In this match, we're going against Black Yellow Luffy. Now, Zoro usually can win us this game by itself. However, however, if the opponent is playing the 10 cost Kusan, they actually could get rid of the Zoro. Which is crazy to think about that they can actually be playing that card. But a lot, uh, some of these Black Yellow Luffy leaders in OPO 7 are actually playing it. So uh, that's going to be interesting to see how this goes. For now, I'm going to take it slow and maybe I'm just going to develop my kids. Yeah, like maybe I just go ahead and say, okay, here. Um, I want to keep this. I want to keep the ESO. Okay, well, I got another one. I want to keep the ESO in case that the opponent plays like something that I want to rest, but they didn't. So it's fine. It's going to make our uh, Hori's Jones a little bit more awkward now. I guess we can go Hori here. We can go Hori Jones here, right? And uh, just attack into it. Get my two down back. Opponent lets, opponent lets go of it. Uh, we'll play this little Bonnie here. I guess we can play the blocker. I can play the blocker. Uh, but we can play the blocker next turn. We had seven. We can play the blocker next turn with this guy. I guess I can also just play this next turn with this guy. Let's play the blocker. I don't want to take damage damage, right? I'm already at two because I played the Holy Jones. But it's still at four. And letting them be able to just play this Kusan and just punish us that way. So that's a little bit scary here. Yeah, like that's super scary here. Yeah, we'll let you we'll block it. And uh I guess we we'll just go kit. I mean, I guess we can also just go Sora here. Kinda If the opponent has the Kusan here, the Sora is not really doing anything just yet, huh? The kid might be better. Like, the kid might be better here. If I attack here, then obviously the opponent gets some value back. But I, I really want to get this done back. Oh, they're actually going to counter there. Interesting. They're actually going to counter there. I, did not, I didn't expect that. I think I have to start eating up into their life. Just because we are gonna have we're gonna be playing this Zoro here soon. Hmm. Why is the opponent countering this ones? Like what am what am I missing here? Why not try to go to Zero? Yeah, that's a Kusan. Again, I, I, it's what I was expecting, right? It's exactly what I was expecting. So we have two options here. We can go. The problem is the second Kusan is going to be a problem, right? The second Kusan is going to be really annoying. If we go here, we don't have enough Dawn to actually just attack into them. That's why the opponent has just been chilling, right? Because the opponent knows that they have these Kusans. I guess if I go here and here, I'm not putting any Dawn here. If I go a second kid, it's like, okay, I guess. 
Let's search. Let's search. Four. And then I guess we'll attack for five. So one, we play we play this for four. That leaves me two down. One has to go on the kid. One has to go on the Hoodie Jones, I guess. So I guess we'll go five. Nine and nine. Okay. So obviously this means that the opponent can just get their thing as big as possible. Like, if I just get them to zero, the opponent can just play their Moria and just do their stuff. If I don't, then I'm forcing them to have to find an answer here. Choose no targets, and then we just go like this. I think I like this. I think I, think I like leaving them at one. Leaving them at one forces them to do this, right? So now they cannot just... They cannot play Moria anymore. Because they, w I mean, I guess they could play Moria, right? but they don't have, they won't be able to get life if they play Moria. Right? So they cannot play Moria right anymore. So by leaving them at one, I can force the Moria right to not be a good, a good card. They have to still get rid of this Roach, and they can only attack into the kid. So yeah, they can put Sabos here. So Sabo and Ace maybe. Okay, Luffy instead. Interesting. And what if we just... Am I resting the Sabo or am I resting the Kusan? Like, obviously, the Roach is gonna just die here, right? This is interesting. When he's at 7 right now, if they play the Luffy to go to 9, they won't have enough for a second saddle. But that does keep them at 1 life. If they just play a second saddle, then they should be able to stay alive here. Ooh. Doesn't attack. Because doesn't want to doesn't want get their stuff to get rested. They just play another blocker instead. Interesting. Cody Jones can rest both blockers. Cody Jones can rest both blockers, and we can attack into them with Cavendish. Get ourselves done back. So seven. We're gonna get a done back here. I guess let's go for it. Might be risky. Might be super risky here. Yeah, this is super risky. Super, super risky. Because, like, the opponent's still at 7 here. So, it's not like I'm pushing a lot of pressure into them. Huh. One down here. So, that would be a 9, 9, 9. So that leaves me with one Sitsuke attack right here. I guess we can go eight into one of them. I, I, I wonder if the opponent tries to save this guy. Okay, so they will. So I guess we'll go like this. I mean, it's, it's keeping them... It's giving them some value here. Do we just chill here or do we actually attack them? I guess we cool. Yeah, I guess we, I guess we might as well just eat up cards from their hand. Let's go nine. Because this doesn't go to their hand. This goes to the trash. If the opponent... Okay, so... Yeah, we'll just go 10. We'll just go 10 and force two 2k counters out of their hand here. Okay. So now the problem is going to be their stupid uh, Moria next time. So Moria is a problem. Do we need to summon Rosinante? Probably not, right? Then we just go like this. So if the opponent has Moria, even with all my Hody Jones, it won't even matter. You have to attack into this, right? 
So then we go like this. We rest your Luffy. And here we give you a 2K. You could also just give them the blocker, but I kind of like having this Uroch. We just give them a 2K and a 1K. And then they play Moira here. Yeah, they're going to get double Sabo. Oh, actually, they only have one Sabo, so they need to have another Sabo in their hand. They only have one big Sabo. They also only had... I mean, they have two small Sabos, but again, it's a risk. Yeah, you can't do it like that. Yeah, you can't do it like that. You have to go like this. You trash the guard. You're going to have to play both. Yeah, because you want to go to nine. That makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. So they go to nine. We used our Hori Jones last time. Um... Probably should have just developed this sorrow like way long ago, right? But okay, opponent surrender. Opponent surrender. I was trying to think which would be the best way to do this here. Opponents are nine. They have one blocker. Couldn't we just have put, I guess, 13? 13? We could have gone 13, 13. And opponent has nine, 11, 13, 15. So it would have count, it would have eaten up all their cards. But the problem that the opponent has is this kid, right? So if I go 13-13, I still have this kid available, plus a blocker, plus my Bonnie ability. So the opponent has to give me all their cards and their Sabo, and they're still not winning next turn. So I think that's why they just surrender, because they're like, yeah, I mean, I, I don't have enough value, right? And part of that is because the opponent didn't find a second Sabo. If they had a second Sabo here, I would have been in a lot more trouble. But they just didn't find the second Sabo. But yeah, that tank is cool and it's so frustrating. Opponent didn't find their four cost Luffy's to actually get value from it. Or the Thunderbolts, right? But like the four cost Luffy and the Thunderbolts together with that Kusan is just so good. Where's the four cost Luffy? I, I, I passed it a couple times, but yeah, there you go. That the, the egghead, right? So this is the combo. You play Kusan, and now everything is minus 5 costs. So pretty much Luffy can kill everything except for a 10 cost, right? So, GG's. In this match, we're going against Luffy. And this matchup is all about whether I get Sorrow or not, right? So I'm going to mulligan. And this is our Sorrow. So with Sorrow, it's so easy for us to just, like, stop the opponent from doing anything. Like, just kill the opponent once they get down to zero life, right? So I'm just going to take it easy. Let them slowly get themselves down to zero. Yeah, let them slowly get themselves down to zero. They even decided to play the Machina first before attacking, which allows me to do this, right? So it allows me to do this, which means that I can attack into this Machina. We can play this guy here, end the turn, get the Dawn active. And yeah, you know, they rearranged their lives so they could have their stuff on the top. And yeah, they have to go ahead and do this first. Uh, probably don't mind playing Cavendish next turn. Oh, they're going to just go for the Luffy right away and just KO this Roach. Okay. So they're down to two life. I'm going to just say, okay, let me just take it. So where it sits. Um... Let's just go like this, and uh, yeah. I think I'm down to pass the turn. Again, we're just going to wait for the Soro turn. And once we have Soro, it's going to be really hard for the opponent to do anything. I do want to make sure, I guess, that I don't take so much damage that I'm going to be into like a sticky situation. Next time we're at 8. I guess let's counter out of the turns that we know that the opponent doesn't have a lot. Yeah, so they go for Sabo, right? But again, the Sabo, we just get to rest it next turn. So they get to play Sabo here. Uh, I just don't have anything that I can do, unfortunately, this turn. I guess I can... I could go here. I could go here. Attack with this. Opponent can go down to one. And we can still put a done on the kid and get my board. Oh, they didn't even. Why not take that? Yeah, we're just going to go like this. 
And then again, next up, we just play Sora. Here we can rest their Sabo or their leader, whichever one. And we can play Sora. And because of the Cavendish, we just get to get the value from Kid, right? So we need to keep this Cavendish alive. Yep, so we just go like this. And uh, here we're just going to give you a 2k. And just chill. Oh, they're going to try to kill this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just okay. I think I'm just fine, right? Again, we just play Sorrow here. We play Sorrow. We attack for six here. Opponent's forced to counter that. We put one here. Um, yeah, we're just gonna choose no targets. Hmm, what just is not bad. We just pass, right? Am I missing something here? You can kill the Bartu with your Luffy. Oh, that's a good one. So they gave it to the Sora with the Kusan. All right, that, that's, that's a good one. I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that one. Okay, okay. So the opponent just decided. Opponent opponent has a lot of value now. That's why they played the Luffy. Okay, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. So. If that's the case, do we need to? Because they'll be able to KO everything, right? Why don't we just go like this? Why don't we just go like this? And we just pass. Just get rid of that Kusan first. No, that's a good way to deal with the Sorrow, right? You put the Luffy and put your Kusan and you're chilling. Why why do it that way? I guess if you have a second Kusan, you get to KO any one of these units. Wow, they have a second Kusan. They actually had the second one. All right, so we have to get rid of these Kusans now. So we'll go like this. Seven, that's 14. Opponent can still save it. Let's make it really hard to save it. Yeah, I guess the opponent got some value there. Double Kusan. Okay, I mean, that's fair. That's one way to play against Bonnie. So I should have kept the Dofi then. I didn't think about the Kusans. One is still not even a zero life. So eventually they're going to get their Moria and start doing their shenanigans with their Sabos. But they have to find some more 2k counters. We still have this blocker. So we're able to save this Hawkins, right? You have another one? They could be playing the five cost Sabo, the yellow one. Or. Okay. Labu. Holy crap. So they're just playing a more. Okay. This is a very interesting version of Black Yellow Luffy. I was not expecting this whatsoever. I'll be completely honest. I was not expecting this whatsoever. So now if I attack, obviously the opponent has the Sabo, right? So I'm going to have to go here. I'm going to have to go here, right? That's a nice Rosinante, actually. That's a very good Rosinante. Because he lets me attack for eight here into the Sabo. Let's me attack for seven here. And let's me play this. And now with the Holy Jones, we should be able to kill that Kusan. This guy doesn't die. That's the opponent's problem. They cannot kill this, but they can definitely kill this Holy Jones. So they can kill this Hody Jones if they have any other removal. Alright, so they're going to go down to zero finally. So I'm guessing this is going to be the Sabo turn. They're going to go... Yeah, they're going to go ahead and put Sabos. I guess they could have an Ace here too. 
So you still have to have, they could have enough kids, right? So they're going to put the Luffy, trash this guy. Yeah, you trash the Hori Jones, right? You can put two on top of your life, and that lets you get one Sabu if you have the little Sabu. What a crazy game. Hmm. Yeah, you get to play the Sabo here. Trash, fix your hand. That's the it's the first time I run into the Kusan. Into the Kusan Black Yellow Luffy. So like it's a first for me, and I think that ended up being the big punish. Unfortunately. Let's go here. Bonnie can go ahead and have another Luffy. So if they have Gecko here or have another Luffy naturally, they get to kill my my kid. So that's yeah, they could yep, they have Gecko. You play Luffy, you kill the kid, and you still have two kids, right? So you go second Sabo here. Yeah, they just get to blow us out here for the rest of the game. Wow, that's a crazy Kusan. I did not expect that. I did not expect that at all. They're gonna stay at one life. Yeah, we'll we'll go like this. Sorry, there'll be a two life. Oh yeah, there'll be a two life, but they'll have two sabos. So this doesn't really do anything for us. Um They still have that stupid loopy there, so if they have a second gecko, it's still gonna be the same thing, right? Yeah, it's still gonna be the same exact thing. I need a second Hori Jones. I need a second Hori Jones for us to have a chance here. So if they have a second Gecko, which they have cycled so much with their Sabo that is very likely, they should get there. Dolphy would have been nice. <sighs> they have it. <laughs> I mean, they have to start overriding their Sabos, right? So that's, that is the one benefit here. So they get to trash this, get to draw a car. They get to go here, attack again. But this time they only have one Sabo and one life. But the one life is enough to keep them alive. Yeah, that's a that's a good that's a good strategy with this new Luffy. That's oh, and they even play they even play the four job Kusan too. Holy crap! Holy crap! Yeah, the problem here is that no matter what we do, opponent has too many attackers, right? So we don't have any other blockers, and the opponent has too many attackers. So like, I guess we can go like this. Find ourselves more blockers. Can only play we can only play one yeah we can only play one and then the opponent just kills us next time i'm just hoping that somehow the opponent has no memorials and that they have no way to get their kids uh no way to get that to zero and that i can somehow get there but yeah they just go here they get to kill the roach and they still have one two three four attacks right and they just need to put blockers down and they should be okay. Yeah. You got it. That was crazy. That was crazy. I did not play around Kusan, so GG. In this match, we're going against Luffy. And this is not bad if we get the Soro, which we did. So I'm going to just keep the whole hand, right? So with Soro around, this, this matchup is so good. <laughs> this matchup is so good for us. Like, actually so good. I'm unwilling to sacrifice this body right now. Uh, honestly, I am. I think I am. I think I'm willing to sacrifice her right now. Is it Cavendish or Hawkins? I think I also like grabbing this Cavendish. Because once the opponent gets to zero, like, it's going to be so good. We can just play Soro and just, like, blow them up, right? They don't have a good way to deal with Soro. That's why the moment that I saw that Soro in my hand, we just kept it. 
yeah opponent also like you know eventually they're gonna get there right eventually they're gonna get there uh do we make them go there do we attack honestly maybe i don't mind it maybe i don't mind it usually i like forcing them to do it uh i, I usually like forcing them to have to get to zero themselves but because we have this sorrow i don't want to give them the time i just want to go all gas right there's other i mean another opponent gives me something to attack into so that's fine okay so opponent's gonna just do it all themselves anyways all right so they're gonna go luffy here they're gonna trash this that's cool uh we're gonna use the car action since so it's free and just put the flamp and we'll take this that's fine uh yeah i mean it's annoying but it's fine we still get to keep one down here right so we just go cavendish and then we just, uh, I guess we can actually also go for the Rosinante, to be honest. I don't think I need to actually keep this much down open. We'll just go like this. Because the problem that the opponent has is that they can never play their, um, their Sabo without first attacking into us, right? So they cannot do their whole Sabo combo, right? So they go Thunderbolt, get to zero. So now they can go ahead and put what, Luffy and something else on the top. So they can put Luffy and Sab on the top. I guess if they go for the Luffy, they can KO this Rosinante as well. But again, see, they went for Sabo, and you see what happens now? I just get to rest it. So I just get to rest the Sabo anyways, and then I try to attack into a next time. And we'll just take this. I don't even care. When it goes for guard, I, I'm going to leave them that there. I mean, I guess the opponents will be able to just do their thing here. They'll be able to go for another Sabo, do their thing. I need to find a turn to play. I need to play Sora next turn, right? So I need to play Sora next turn. I guess this time we can play Barto. Keep one down, attack this for nine. Or do we attack it for ten? Or do we just go all in on it? And keep the Barto in my hand. I mean, opponent only has six cards, right? So I think I'm okay going like this. Three, one. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm okay attacking for nine here. If the opponent wants to give me two 2k counters here, they're going to have a lot less counters for when my sorrow comes down. Okay, they don't go for it. We'll just go like this, pass the turn, and again, just keep that one down to continue messing with them. Next time, we just play sorrow. And even if the opponent can get their life here, and then also play put the two sabos on the top that would still be a lot that they need to do here now the downside is that next so we cannot deal with the sabo the same way okay well so i guess they didn't have it um do i mind going down to two they trash sabo because they want to play gecko moria next turn so they're going to be able to play gecko but again, the problem is that for them to play Gecko, they also have to take that life. So they either have to take that life right now. So they either have to take that life right now or something else. I'm going to give them the counter right now. We also, like, we literally have the Sorrow into Hori Jones combo to do whatever we want. Yeah, we just go like this first and we just play sorrow here so even if the opponent has access to a gecko next turn and gets multiple samples it doesn't matter not only that but the opponent cannot actually do it without first putting they have to first put a luffy down so they have to first put a luffy so if they have gecko they have to go luffy and sabo right they have to pick luffy and sabo they have to use the luffy first to get this luffy out of their life then put the two down on the Luffy, put the two Sabos on their life, and then they can use the second, their first Sabo. So I will still leave them with one life, which is going to be the other Sabo. Next and again, yeah, I mean, again, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I, I know opponent just, you know, ended their turn probably accidentally, but like their best move here, their best move here was Gecko, but because they still have this Luffy on the top, they have to go Gecko, grab Sabo, and grab the little Luffy. They have to use the little Luffy. Boom. They play, they, they put the two down here. Put the Sabos on the top. Boom, boom, right? 
And uh, yeah, well, they're gonna go ahead and play the Sabo. So now they have two Sabos, the Luffy and the Gecko. And then next time we can just go Sorrow. I guess the opponent has two blockers and a life, so the Sorrow won't be enough. So what we can always do is also, we can also just go Holy Jones, rest their two Sabos, and just attack nine, three times into the opponent. Because the opponent will be a nine, I guess. And if we attack nine three times, opponent has to give me... Eh, it, it might actually make more sense for me. Opponent had, opponent had time. Opponent had time. There was no reason for them to surrender right away. But the moment they see this Sorrow, it makes it really tough for them to do a lot, right? Oh, I guess actually, you know, I'm able to rest one of their Sabos right now because of my Bonnie ability. So the moment that they attack with their Luffy, I will rest their Sabo. So the opponent wouldn't be able to attack. And if they don't attack, I just keep my two blockers. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I don't see how they win this once you drop Sorrow. And that's why we play four of them. So GG. In this match, we're going against Red Purple Luffy. Interesting. I haven't played against this deck in a long time. I like the Cavendish and Hawkins combo. And even the even the Holly Jones seems okay. Huh. We don't have Uroj, so it's a can be a little bit awkward here. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I have to watch out for the forecast law, huh? Could be annoying to deal with if the opponent finds if, if opponent has the forecast law. And I can knock it down to zero, obviously. Uh we'll go six here and just play this Rocinante. They're still gonna eat up a 1k out of the opponent, or a 2k apparently. And we'll just rest against their Nami. We'll just rest their Nami, start doing shenanigans. The next turn we'll play Cavendish. Start getting some value here. Yeah, we'll go like this. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta get my hand size smaller. So the opponent gets the sorrow here. We'll go. We'll go here with the Cavendish. And I guess we'll attack into their Nami. And we'll chill. As long as Cavendish stays on the field, we should be in a decent spot. Because he's gonna give us so much down back, right? We'll take this one. Not bad. Okay, they get the seven cast the seven cast kid. Mm. Let's go Hawkins. We'll go like this. And uh we'll go for eight, right? Still gonna force the opponent to have to give me card. Okay, they gave me another 2k. We are at 8, so we can start playing this Dolphy. Rest both their units. Chill. Nami. Now, the kid does put them in a decent spot. They whiff the Nami. Okay. They go back up to 9. They get the... Okay, so that's a perfect... That's going to be a perfect uh, Dolphy, right? So, if we go here and go to 10, I'm going to give you the Hawkins. I'm going to give you the Hawkins and just chill, right? So, yeah, we just go here, here, here. And uh, we'll attack into you, get the two done back. And I uh, just chill, right? I just want to have the down back in case. I mean, I guess the opponent is not really attacking into us. Yeah, I guess the opponent is not really attacking into us, so I didn't need to do that. I did forget about this dragon. Okay, they are going to attack into us. Six, seven. Need more than that. But they don't want to. Eight. Okay. True life is scary. 
You know what? If you have the law, you have the law. I I'll let you do it. Yep, I'll let you do it. That's okay. Yeah, I I, I it, it was very telegraphed that that was a law. Very, very telegraphed, right? So that was very telegraphed that that was a law. Um, going down to one is scary. Especially when I don't have any blockers. Very, very scary. Hmm. Do I need to go here instead? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um. I guess we'll go like this first. Force two cards. Okay. We get two done back here, which will let me play. I guess we also get another done back here. So we can go for seven here if we wanted to. Seven doesn't really do anything. So I want to play this Bonnie. I want to play this Bonnie and just put the kid rested. Like, I think that makes more sense. I guess I could do it on the dragon. But at the, then the point, I mean, I'm not attacking the leader, right? So I think we just go here. I'm not attacking their leader anytime soon, so I think we just go like this. One is going to have to give me the law, right? Let's go like this. Nah, I don't want to give them that blocker. Go like this. First the opponent to do more. You know I have the blocker. You know I have the blocker. Honestly, I don't even need to actually play the blocker. Okay, well, I will give you the blocker here. Cool. So now we're just gonna go clear their board, right? Unfortunately, we're not gonna get any dawn back from this unless we literally play the Holy Jones and take our own life. So, this is going to be interesting. I guess we can go like this. Yeah, I guess we can go like this, right? This ends up working out pretty well. Let's me get the Barto. We play the Barto. Uh, we go for seven here. Get two done back. Go for ten here. You want to give me two cards? I'll take the two cards. Okay. Nine... 10, 11, 12. Let's just go for 12, just to be sure. It has to be 2k, 2k. They don't have it, so we chill. All right, now that the opponent has, like, no cards, I guess they could play their 10 cost dopey here. Well, this Bonnie staying on the field is huge. And we can start slowly whittling down their board now. So Ragnarok on the Cavendish. Just in time for us to play another Cavendish. That's unfortunate for them. Let's stay at two. Let's stay at two here. Let's stay at two here, right? Um... We'll go like this. We don't get another blocker, unfortunately. So maybe we go for the 2k. Yeah, let's go for the 2k. We'll go here. Eight. Yeah, I guess let's I guess let's start putting pressure on them. Eight. Eight. And then ten. Alright, so you're at zero. Uh, you have to have two rushers and we have 5k counter value here 
Because we can rest their Luffy or their Zoro. Okay, so they just go for it. So they lose the Zoro value. So they get to play their Luffy ability here. Yeah, yeah, do their thing. We just say, I mean, this doesn't matter, right? Because the opponent gets another turn, right? So we just say, okay. And we just take it. I guess we don't have to take it. We can go like this. Yeah. And as long as we keep this, we know that we can rest their next unit, right? So that's why the opponent didn't have a chance there. So, geez. hey, everyone, welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed today's games of Bonnie. Uh, and yeah, I mean, Kusan, right? 10 drop Kusan. I will say that I was not expecting that. Uh, the, the game's a little bit out of order, right? So the, the game that we lost was actually the first game against Black Yellow Luffy, and that's why I was surprised about Kusan. The first game was, I really was prepared for it. So that's why we kind of were able to kind of play a little bit around there, a little bit better around there, right? Uh, but it's crazy. That tech is actually huge, right? Because that's what lets them deal with this Zoro. Uh, unfortunately, this, the opponent, the second opponent didn't actually find the Luffy's to combine with their Kusans. Otherwise, that would have been a lot of trouble for us as we saw in that one game that we lost. So, so that was actually pretty crazy. That was actually very crazy, very fun. And now we learned something new about that matchup that I was not expecting. So, yeah. Um, aside from that, though, I mean, pretty straightforward. For the past three days and this body showcase, I honestly can say that this is not a leader that I'm going to play. I'm not very good at this leader. I'm not very good at this leader. I feel like I was making a lot of misplays. I lost a lot. And it also doesn't feel like he's that strong, to be honest. Um, I feel like there's a lot of ways to play around her and play around the bombs that she drops down. If you're not prepared for it, she can beat you. But if you're prepared for it, it's a lot easier than I thought to be able to handle her, in my opinion. So, yeah. But anyways, that's going to be it for us for today. Uh, if you like today's video, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post one of these videos every single day. Tomorrow, we're going to continue with our OP07 showcase, and it's going to be Dragon's turn. So we're going to go red and try to see if we can get some aggression in there to put pressure into the opponent. So I hope you stick around for that. You can also find us on Twitch at the same time we'll video on then, and you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.